I come out here and I see these beautiful women and I want to talk to them and they got nothing. I might as well be on a desert island. But if I go, oh, yeah, then they look. by yourself and you're just standing here waiting for the light to turn it can just be very awkward sometimes they'll just drive by and honk and that's not as bad as when you're stuck here and there's a car right there in front and, of you like right now like got their head out the window be like yeah what's up baby yeah oh you here just by yourself and you're waiting it just feels like you're stuck there for a really long time and it's uncomfortable to have this strange guy just intensely looking at you when he should be watching the road Harassment of any kind is always about power. This is a culture that also denigrates women. So, uh, you know, I don't think it's anything innate in men. I think it's the way that, that we're really um, trained within the culture. Large and small ones, every size. Some are dumb and some are wise. We don't have to advertise that we're always at Generally, it makes me feel uncomfortable. It makes me feel like an object and it really pisses me off. There's stories to tell back, but when they happen, I like really, really don't like it. I was really excited. I, I was like, wow, this is how great it is when you're a beautiful woman and guys are flattering you all the time. You're like flattered, but then you're irritated and annoyed at the same time. If we were at a beach and, and everybody was looking good in, in a bathing suit, it's one thing you just kind of move on with your life. But if we're just kind of walking down the street and it's somebody kind of hollering at you from a corner, it's you know something a little bit different. It's like ranting about your ignorance almost it was like oh i don't i don't like this but like it's kind of it's like an awkward compliment the whole idea is like you know when i see something i'm gonna get at it and yell at it and the purpose of it is maybe if i do it 15 times in one day i'll get at least one girl i think it's kind of gross like even if it's a really hot guy like all right that's fine but like i don't know there's a better way of approaching a woman and telling her that she looks beautiful i probably see it more as like a compliment if it happens once in a while it's, I, I take it as a compliment i don't really feel that protected i usually just want to get away from it as fast as possible i just think it's inappropriate it's rude and if you want to talk to somebody, then you should come up and, you know, introduce yourself. Sometimes it does make you feel good because you did put the effort into it. But you want to be in control of that, right? Yeah. If I were a woman and if a man or even a group of men were doing it, I could see how it would be um, a little intimidating. There's a lot of evidence in social psychology for the power of televised and filmed portrayals of not only women but minorities as well to convey stereotypes and encourage behavior that really is demeaning and offensive. You know what the people who do it get out of it? Maybe it's like a, a sense of like inflation. As for a man with a girlfriend, like it's really an uncomfortable feeling because in your human nature as a man you want to protect her. I think that it's kind of our culture, you know, that men are expected to pursue women and not the other way around. But it's about the actual person that's doing it and the actual person that's that's yelling out the comment, it's them. The men that do that don't really know how to talk to women. It's just this masculinity that they need to get over. I think they're insecure and they're retarded. This culture trait is too strong for her to attempt to violate. She has no choice but to conform or be subject to great criticism. First he was trying to whistle and like... <laughs> talked to me from his car and we were in traffic and the lanes merged and he got behind me and followed me to work. I parked and there was a football practice going on. He grabbed my arm when I got out of the car and I kind of yanked my arm out of him and then he called me <laughs> a B word. The guys leaned out the window and were like, hey, how you doing? It was kind of like I walked faster. I like didn't want to be around them. I was young. I, you know, I was afraid that maybe they would like try to do it something. It scares me sometimes, like especially if I'm being followed. Like he was following me on his bike, and I, I was, I didn't want to like go into my car and have him like hold it open. And he stopped the car, and he got out of the car and started walking towards me. And I was very, very fearful that he was going to assault me. And I can remember as a young woman walking down the street, very engrossed in a conversation, and somebody made a comment which. I didn't actually hear. And when we didn't respond, he screamed at us, you fucking dykes. And I remember just thinking, wow, you know, wow, that's an extreme response to just no, no acknowledgement. I think a lot of times men don't really think about it. It's just what you do. It's just being a guy. And they don't see it as being a jerk guy, <laughs> you know? And it's possible to be a nicer guy. <laughs> One.
one that you like best And then return the rest For any one of us will bring a thrill So new, we're all guaranteed romantic Just try one out, me stars above And the bride that you get from a mail-order house Will come to you with kisses and